I've been writing songs since um, age 12. And um, so that writing for others, for example, Jody and Pantry was a song that I had written from my teenage years. Um, all I did was improve on it, you know, when I became an adult. But uh, that's what I have been doing from, from that time. Uh, and of course, that's an inspiration from God because most of the songs that I write, I can't tell you how I write them. I know that I start a song, I might get everything. When I start a song, I get this, the, the music, I get everything. Um, there are times when I start a song and it takes me two years to write. And so, oh, it's just, I can just say that it's an inspiration from the Lord. Writing songs though, I, I enjoy doing that. that that's, it's fun to me because it's like getting another sermon. And um, but I have written over 70 songs um, so far. Um, well, you have heard some of them that I write for other people. I do like to write for others. Um, and if there's a request, I will, you know, write for, 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 for someone else. Now, I do not just get up and write a song for someone else without knowing the person's genre, um, style. And so I will, I like to hear what the person um, sings, what style the person loves. I uh, prob prob probably, you know, test the person to hear what, you know, how, how they sing, and then I can write accordingly. But um, sometimes a song comes to me uh, over a long period of time. Um, for example, Shane, or a short period of time. Shane, for example, it came within a short time. Um, yes, it, I've been contemplating the song for him, but it took me about uh, half an hour to write the song. God just gave me everything and I, I wrote the song. Gave him, he went to a festival and he won. So that I call an inspiration, you know, because it's basically last minute. And so songwriting is, is a gift, but it starts with a talent. And it starts with you observing are listening, and the hymns um, are, are the, 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 the lessons that have taught me how to write. So that hymn book, or the hymnal, that has kept me as a child um, when I listen to songs like um, How Far From Home, or Blessed Assurance, Jesus Is Mine, um, you know, and, and the writing style, how you know, the fr first line and the third line rhyme and so on. Um, I've been observant since that time. And so I started writing like that. But um, more so writing after college days, knowing the writing style, doing um, literature, I now started to write with you know, more meaning, uh, more sense, um, having a storyline. Not just writing something because it rhymes, but um, it is more now than, yeah, inspiration is good, but inspiration without knowledge can, can hurt you. It is good when, because, well, God, what, what, the fact is that God, when God inspires somebody, even if the person didn't know how to write, the person will write well, you know, but it pays to learn how to put something together. It's just like a sermon. You get, a, you get an inspiration from the Lord to write a sermon. You start writing, but you, because you don't know how to put the sentence together, it distracts from the message that God gives you. Because somebody else might hear the, the language and just say, boy, what is man, you know, and they get turned off. And so, you know, it, it takes a whole lot to um, you know, put songs together. Songs are sermonets. They are messages and resonate in, a, in the mind of others, probably longer than a sermon. I enjoy teaching, but if I have to make a choice between teaching and singing, I will sing. Um, 
as a result of that, you hear a song like, Lord, let me walk like you. Lord, let me talk like you. Lord, let me sing your song. And I will sing all day long. Um, singing is therapeutic for me. And so I enjoy doing that. And I will continue to do that. Um, yes, there are times when there are challenges. As a singer, you write a song and you realize that uh, the song is not necessarily for you. And so you give it to the person the Lord inspire you to give it to. Um, but I enjoy singing and singing is not something you just get up. And um, well, for me, it's not something I just get up and do. I do it um, when I'm ready. I'm doing, I, I do it when, when, when the Lord inspires me. Um, I, I do it when I have a message. And so, I sing all day long. Uh, singing George the Singer. Huh. I don't even consider myself a singer, really. I, I've seen many who can sing much better than, than I do. But I love to minister to people. Um, I will not sing a song if it has no meaning to me. I do not like to sing just casually. If I sing a um, song like, Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. If I, if I should sing that song the way that song reaches me, touches me, then I may just start crying before the, before, before the camera because I know what the Lord has done for me. And like Kirk said, I sing because I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. I know what God has done, and that is why I will continue to sing and lift up the name of Jesus in songs.